It's NHL Draft Day, and I can't wait for the Toronto Maple Leafs with their second round pick to pick either Tyler Saquin or Taylor Hall. Edmonton's got the first pick, but this should be really great because we're looking for a top six forward that can play with Phil Kessel and... One sec, guys. What? What do you mean we traded it away? Oh, right, right, right. Well, we still got a first round pick, right? We don't? Are you serious? Well, when are we drafting? Okay, you wrote it down here. Let's see. Uh, first round. Oh, son of a... Yeah, Colt Nor in the first period dropping the gloves. Yeah. It's the intermission on www.rleafs.com, exclusively as well on www.leafspace.com. I'm your host, Brado. Thanks for watching. So the first day of the NHL draft is over, and of course the answer, would it be Tyler or Taylor, has been answered, as the Edmonton Oilers drafted Taylor Hall, to nobody's surprise, at first overall. While the Toronto Maple Leafs were to draft second, providing that they finished 29th in the league, they traded their first round pick, their second round pick, and a first round pick in 2011 to the Boston Bruins for Phil Kessel. Finishing 29th of 30 teams, the Leafs gave up the second round pick to Boston when they traded for Phil Kessel. While this has angered many Leaf fans, it is a move that Burke said that would help the organization, and of course Brian Burke didn't exactly expect the Toronto Maple Leafs to finish 29th. Now, as for the Toronto Maple Leafs, because that's what we're talking about. They don't have a pick until, uh, let's see, nope. Um, the Toronto Maple Leafs are not picking until the 62nd pick. That would be the third round, as they traded away the second pick, which I believe was the 31st or 32nd pick, or somewhere around there, to Boston in the Phil Kessel trade as well. Oh, why did we make that trade? Why? Of course, we wouldn't also be talking about draft day if we weren't talking about rumors. Rumors of trades like trading Kuhlman away, Shen, Bozak. Cabriolet. The list goes on. In fact, I found one trade rumor really funny, and it came from the Maple Leaf organization. There was a rumor going around Tyler Bozak, Nikolai Kuhleman, and Thomas Cabriolet were going to be traded to the Edmonton Oilers for their first round pick, and of course, some money. Money being Surrey. My first reaction to this was, yeah, yeah, right. In all honesty, the deal just didn't make sense, so I knew it wasn't going to be true, and I knew it was just a flim flam rumor. And while talks of the Caberlet issue has heated up and teams are interested, none of the offers apparently to Brian Burke and Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment Co. and Dave Notice and all his scouts seem interestingly enough to take a nibble on. Now I'm not sure exactly what was going on or what was being offered. Brian Burke did suggest that he was offered a trade for Luke Shen apparently, and of course a couple first round picks. But a first round pick, according to Brian Burke, was not a necessity, considering that he is trying to rebuild the Toronto Maple Leafs without giving up assets. Like giving away two first-rounders and a second for Phil Kessel? I mean, after all, Brian, we could have had Taylor or Tyler. Eh? Eh? Okay, so maybe I'm a little upset. Maybe I'm a little disgruntled. I mean, come on. When was the last time the Toronto Maple Leafs drafted a top-quality player? I mean, like, first-round pick. Okay, sure, we got Cat. Okay, we got Shen. But I'm talking a guy that really can score goals. Hmm? Does anybody know? Does anybody know? When was the last time? Sittler? Now... A lot of people have been asking me what I think is going to happen in the oncoming days for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Quite frankly, let me talk about the Caberlet issue first. Let me get this off my chest. While there are offers for Thomas Caberlet, I honestly believe that Dave Nonis and Brian Burke are not going to trade Thomas Caberlet until after July 1st. And here's why. And while Thomas Caberlet's no trade clause is now officially lifted and the Toronto Maple Leafs can send the defenseman anywhere they choose, I really think that teams are going to wait until July 1st or shortly thereafter. 
Teams are going to try and sign players, and this is where the Leafs probably will get the best deal. Yeah, okay, maybe they might get a couple that might pique their interest at draft day, but come on, when a team is going after a defenseman or can't sign a defenseman because of cap issues, or that defenseman tries to leave, or maybe they're rebuilding and they really need a top-scoring defenseman, or something along those lines, or a top player, that's when teams are going to come knocking. They're going to come knocking on Toronto's doors, and they're going to offer something. Whether that be a top six forward, maybe a first-round pick, I'm not sure but something that would probably pique Brian Burks and Dave Nonis' interest. And while many of you are going to disagree and say that it's the best time to trade Caverly now, and if we don't trade Caverly now, then Brian Burke doesn't know what he's doing, and we should just fire him, and blah, 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 blah. You know, there used to be an old saying called, patience is a virtue. Okay, okay, okay. I know that's saying a lot with the Toronto Maple Leafs, considering we haven't won a Stanley Cup in 43 years, we haven't made the playoffs in the last five years, something's got to be done, right? Right? Okay, well... Relax. I think it'll be very interesting, though, to see what the Toronto Maple Leafs do come free agency. Now, who's available? Not sure. The rumor going around that the Toronto Maple Leafs aren't interested in Ilya Kovalchuk? Well, I don't buy that for a second. Ideally, though, however, I just, at the end of the day, don't see Kovalchuk as a Leaf. As much as I'd like him to be, it's probably not going to happen. The Leafs, give or take some players or some moves, may be able to have some cap space, but you'd be blowing it all on one player. And, frankly, we need more than just one goal scorer, or one top six forward. We do need a little bit more beef on the front end. As far as the back end is concerned and the goaltending, we're perfectly fine. So, what do I think the Toronto Maple Leafs are going to do in the coming days? Perhaps free agency? Or including at the draft still? Well, I think that finishing 29 definitely means that nobody is safe. While there are some players that are untouchables on the roster, I still think that Brian Burke is going to make some key trades. I'm not sure about this whole Kuhlman scenario, but I don't think that Kuhlman may be a Leaf next September. I think if Kuhlman doesn't take the contract offered by Brian Burke, see you bye, thanks very much, better luck wherever you go. And as for Caverlet, I think he's going to remain a Leaf, but like I said, if he gets moved, it won't be until after July 1st. Now, there are some qualifying offers, Christian Hansen, Victor Stahlberg, Tyler Bozak, and of course, uh... John Mitchell, uh, who are, have been offered uh, qualifying line charts. I don't see them being moved as well. People have asked me, do I see Luke Shen being brought into a scenario, maybe packaged with a Cabriolet or a Kuhlman? No. Luke Shen's not going anywhere. He is one of the future defensemen of this franchise. He's staying. But the FNUF move in January definitely signaled the end of Cabriolet. It really did. I'm sorry. You can say what you want about Brian Burke saying, well, Caverlay probably will be a Leaf in September. I just think if the Leafs are offered the right price, caverlay has gone. What that would be, I don't know. Which brings us to the question of the day. Will the Toronto Maple Leafs trade Thomas Caverlay? And if so, where is he going? And what will be the return? You can leave a comment or a video response in the drop box below. Add us as a friend, rate us, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and of course, follow us on Twitter, rleafs.com and leafspace.com over there. And if you haven't already done so, check out rleafs.com uh, for all your latest on blogs, videos, and more on the Toronto Maple Leafs, as well as leafspace.com, the official fan site of the Toronto Maple Leafs Hockey Club. Well, for the Intermission Draft Day blog, I'm the host, Brado. Thanks for watching, and go Leafs go!